Hi everyone, I got another review for you uh, here today. What we're going to test are the Harbor Freight Digital Calipers. Now, I actually have an older model and a newer model, and we're going to test both. Now, uh, these, are, these have both been used a bunch by me. When I say a bunch, maybe a few hundred times, not tens of thousands of times, but a few, at least a few hundred times. So we're going to check the old versus the new, or the older. I think, I've, I, think I bought this one maybe three or four years ago, I want to say. Maybe, let's say three years ago, and I got this one maybe six months ago. So these are both six-inch models. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the jaws to make sure that we don't have any dirt, grit, or anything on there. I'm going to zero, zero it out. We're going to open this up to 100 millimeters. And then we're going to close it. We go back to zero. Now, it doesn't slide great. There is a little bit of friction and resistance. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But again, this is a... I think I bought these when they were on sale or I had a coupon. I paid maybe 10 bucks for these things. So this is not a $100, $150 higher-end set. And again, if I was a machinist for a living, if I was an aerospace engineer or something like this, I wouldn't be playing with $10 or $20 digital calipers that have much higher end stuff that are certified and calibrated and that I can that if my job depended on it I'm going to make sure that I have the best tools but I'm just a home shop guy I make things I build things I test things out but we're not again I'm not a rocket scientist or a professional machinist so I only need stuff that I'm going to use a few times here and there and I look at uh, looking for a good value. So I'm going to open it up and close it five times, and we come back to zero. Now, I also have a Vermont Gauge X-Class gauge pin right here. So I have this coated in light oil. That's how I store it so that no corrosion or surface rust or anything is on it every time I pull the gauge pin out I wipe it off and every time I put it away I actually kite, uh, coat it with a with just a little little light film of oil so this is 0 0.6200 plus I don't know if you guys can read that so we're going to check to see how accurate we are I'm set to millimeters right now. We're going to change this to inches. And I'm getting 0 0.620. I'm getting 0 0.620. 0 0.620. 0 0.620. I'm going to open and close it five times again. All right? And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same measurement again. 0 0.620. I'll flip it around. I'll measure it again. 0 0.620. So this three-year-old digital caliper that I paid 10 bucks for works. Oh, and this gauge pin is two inches long. Now, it's not, it's not X-Class certified to two inches, but let's see what we get. Look what we get. 2.000 and then a 5. Let me reposition it again. Oops. Two point zero zero zero. So this old workhorse right here that I've been using. And now I don't abuse these tools. I put them back in their cases when they're not in use. So this thing hasn't been heavily abused. But it's been used works so now we're going to test it up against the new one i'm going to shut this off so i don't kill my battery now we're going to test it up against the newer version that i bought maybe six months ago 
Now, I like the newer version a little better than the older version because they added some new features to it. Not only do you have a uh, metric and standard like the old one, but you also have fractions of an inch. So if you have a bolt and you want to check the sizing of the bolt, you can use this and it'll tell you quarter inch, five sixteenths, half inch, which is nice and convenient to have. So we're going to put this on inch measurement. We're going to clean the jaws to make sure that there's no dirt, debris, grit, anything on there. We're going to close it. We're going to hit zero. So now I'm going to open and close this five times, two, three, four, five, and we go back to zero. Another thing about the newer model, it's much faster than the older model to react. It goes back to zero much, much faster. So let's check our gauge pin to see where we're at. So we're getting 0.6195. Let's flip it around. 0.61, ah, we're getting 0 0.6200. Let me stand it up like this. So we're getting 0 0.6200, 0 0.6200, 0 0.6200. 0 0 I'm gonna flip this. I'm gonna hit it a few more times. 0.6200. 0 0.6200, zero, zero, point, oops, 0 0.6200. Now I'm going to open and close this five times, three, four, five, and now I'm going to recheck it. So we're 0 0.6200, 0 0.6200. I'll flip it and I'll do one more in the center, 0 0.6200, and right back to zero. Also, we'll check the length so we got two inches dead on we have oh, let me two inches dead on two inches dead on and right back to zero shut it off put it back in the case I will rub this with a little bit of oil before I put this back in the case but as you can see here, both my older model and my newer model are fully functioning to what I call perfectly. Now this one is a little bit slower and the feel of the caliper is, you can hear that it's rubbing. Now maybe just the post in the back is a little bent, but again, this is a few years old. The newer one, on the other hand, much, much, much smoother. Again, it's not a precision Swiss watch, but it is it moves much smoother than the old one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little review. And if you do, leave comments below. And uh, if you like the reviews that I'm doing, and you tell me that you like them, I'll keep making more. And I'll just keep putting the content out there and I'll keep sharing my tools and experiences with you guys. Thank you very much.